Well, good morning, viewers. Grazer from Grazer's Freshwater Fishing. Up on the Mighty Murray once again. Up here for a few days and, um, yeah, very much going to be spending the majority of my mornings getting up early and, and hitting the river, trying to chase that early bite. River's in pretty good shape, feeling pretty confident. So stay tuned as we once again try and chase that big fish. Got him. This one's on the chase. Doesn't feel too bad, he's just fighting the current. Trying to fight him against the current. I don't believe he's got a lot of size in him. He's only a little tucker. Okay, it's not a bad little fish. Put him straight in, I think. There we go. There you go, first one for the trip. A little 45 centimeter cod. Got him on the cheese. Once again, sort of pale looking fish. Anyway, we'll get him back in the water. Away she goes. So very much with the setup first thing in the morning. It's just with the two rods, just just mixing it up. So I've got one one baited up with cheese, one baited up with chicken, and we sort of progressively see what's their favourite. And if we change up later, we may go to two cheese, two chicken. It just depends on on what we're getting the bites on. So anyway, let's hope we hook up soon. Got him. Oh, he's got a bit of fight in him too. This 
this one's on cheese. He's a little bit of weight about him. He needs to take me straight under a tree. Oh, no, I've got him out. I've got him out. I've got him out. Oh. Got a bit of fight about him. Oh, come on, let me see ya. Let me see ya. Oh, come on. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, he's not finished. He's not finished. Come on. Better get the net for this one. There we go, second one for the morning. The second one on cheese, so yeah, he's just gone 57 centimetres. Once again, a nice healthy fish. Got him. Oh, a couple of head shakes there. I don't think he's that big. Just engulf that cheese. Might even be a carp or something. <coughs> Fish. Get the net for this one. There we go, got him. There we go, number three for the morning. 53 centimetres he went, he measured up. That's the third one on cheese this morning, so I haven't really had a lot of bites on chicken, so we'll get this one back. Well, good morning, day two. Another very warm night. It's gonna be another pretty hot day. Water temperature sitting at about 26 degrees. Had a pretty good morning yesterday. We put, what, three, four hours in. We got three, yeah, good fish. Um, dropped a really good one, but anyway, that's, that happens. But yeah, we've got probably about three or four hours this morning, so we'll go out and hopefully we might pick up a nice one, so stay tuned.
So what we've got here guys is a really good area to throw some surface lures in. We've got some really heavy current coming through, but just off to the, towards the shore, the river has um, widened really quickly, which has created this, this pool of backwater. Got some really good fallen old trees in here with a little bit of depth, not too much. So a really good area just to sort of target this backwater with a surface lure and hopefully we'll pick one up. So we've just spent the last 45 minutes flicking surface lures. Unfortunately, no bites, but yeah, we're just starting to get a few jet skis. Zooming across the top of the water, which um, yeah, which is not ideal conditions for flicking surface lures. So we've just tied up and we're gonna try some bait and we'll see how we go. So I'm just running a pretty basic sort of setup. Um, I'm running just 50 pound braid with about a 40 to 50 pound leader and just the old running sinker just fishing off the bottom so I think it's a little size 4 sinker and what I do with chicken is I just run a 5-0 suicide hook because I put quite a big piece of chicken on and then with the cheese same gig um, same setup with line, just with the running sinker, but generally I run even just um, a little bit smaller, generally a 4-0 suicide hook. Um, seems to do the trick. So just good piece of chicken. I just run the, the hook through and actually pull the line through and then run it back through again. And I actually like to have the suicide, the barb exposed. Um, I, I tend to get a better hookup rate. Well, I believe I do anyway. So that's how I sort of go with it with a bit of chicken hanging to entice the fish and um, we'll see how we go. Got him. Got him. Oh. It's got me snagged. It's just bitten that and taken me straight underneath. Just loosened off a bit, so with a, without giving. Oh, well, there he goes. I've just given him a bit of slack, just to, enough to sort of release him off that twig, and he's taken it. It's a nice little Murray cod.
he's inhaled that cheese. We got a nice little healthy Murray Cod, got him on the cheese, just gone 50 centimetres. Absolutely inhaled that cheese. Took me in underneath the snag, but managed to get him off, which is good. So beautiful one. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, really enjoy bringing them to you. I just want to take this opportunity to say a, a special thanks to all the guys that have, have subscribed to the channel and for all those comments and feedback, really appreciate it. The channel's three months in, nearly hit 200 subscribers since its inception back in October and have really enjoyed bringing them to you so if you get to subscribe please do and hit that notification button bell so whenever I do produce them um, hopefully you'll get the opportunity to watch them so thanks again and I hope to see you out in the water soon